Well, we're off to do something incredibly interesting, although potentially not terribly fun. No. No, it no, actually no. came as a, kind of a shock uh, when uh, Friday the doctor called me up and said, well, we got the results back for your test, so we need you in here for surgery. On Monday, we're putting in a pacemaker. So that's where we're headed right now, over to the hospital, where they will be busting open my chest and shoving a pacemaker How in there. How do you have to bust your chest oh, off? And I hope not. Joy. No, they just they, they drill a hole. <laughs> they it, drill it's a like hole. a Dremel tool, and, <laughs> and then they fish a thing. I don't know exactly. I was reading about it online, and then I just got depressed. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's where we're headed. But I don't want this to interrupt the flow and the schedule of the show, where we put a show up every Sunday. So uh, uh, we have a show. This is just going to be the Trackers train show in Ogden. Mm -hmm. Should be a lot of fun because it's the trackers. And we rode the train up there, and that makes it fun. And it just should be wonderful. So enjoy the trackers train show and a couple of really incredible layouts. And we'll see how the pacemaker goes. We decided to take the UTA's train system up to Ogden for the annual Trackers Railroad Show. This is a much funner way to go to a train show than, say, driving up there. What better way to go to a train show than on a train? This is the front runner. This is the inner urban service that connects the whole Wasatch Front together. And then there's also a trolley system and a light rail system that we rode in order to get to the front runner train. Now, going to some small little train show like the Tracker Show in Ogden might not seem like massive, massive screwing around, and in a way it really isn't. But what it is is an enormous, enormous amount of fun to get together with your friends. This is Mike, hi Mike. And head up to some place like the train show. And this is Brother Al. You probably remember him from the tree video and so on. We all sort of hang out and build models together. Mike is also an Amtrak engineer, so that's kind of fun. Now here we are arriving at the Ogden Depot. The Ogden Depot is also the home of the Utah State Railway Museum. And so there's all this really cool old railroad equipment hanging around the station that's part of that collection. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of these little train shows all over the country every year. The Trackers is an annual show that they've been doing up here, and it's like a lot of these shows, but this one tends to be really, really big, and I think that's in part because it's held here in the museum, and, well, how the heck cool is that? And with my goofy little heart problem, I'm probably not safe to go bungee jumping or something, but I can sure come to something fun and goofy like a train show. And this one tends to be a little funner and a little goofier than some. You know, getting together with your friends and acting like complete and utter idiots is always a good deal of fun, and a train show is a good excuse for that, isn't it? Now, if you haven't seen the show I did on the Utah Railway Museum, you should probably check that out. You can see the restoration of 223 and so on. But we're here for this, the Trackers Show. It's a typical show. All the usual suspects are here. We've got the Lego Club with one of their, this is an aircraft carrier they built that's really huge. And there's all kinds of dealers selling all kinds of stuff. You can buy darn near anything you want at one of these shows. But I think probably the funnest thing at these shows are the railroad clubs, the modular railroad clubs that bring their modular railroads and set them up. This is the Coldwater Gulch HO scale model railroad club with their cool modular railroad. Now, of course, a modular railroad is something that a whole bunch of people build and each person builds a little section of it. And then for shows like this, they get together and they assemble the whole thing and then they run it. It gives people a chance to build a model railroad who don't have space to build a model railroad. And this way they can still do something fun. The only downside of it is that you can only get together and run when you haul the whole thing to a show like this. This is actually how the O-Scale guys came together. We 
got together and said, let's build a great big O-scale modular thing that we can take around to the shows. We didn't have a formal name, but at the shows when people would say, aren't there some people here with a big O-scale railroad? And they'd say, oh yeah, the O-scale guys are over there. And that's just how we got the name, the O-scale guys. Later on, we replaced that railroad with an ON2 modular railroad that was really, really cool. And we took that around to the shows for some years. And the thing is kind of in various pieces and parts now, and it'll probably never be out again. Well, after a grand day out, we got back on the train and headed back for Salt Lake, where we decided to all get together and have dinner somewhere. It was a lovely train ride back. It's just really fun to get together with everybody and ride the train and go to a train show and do this kind of hanging out. You know, when you find out that you've got some kind of goofy heart problem going on and that you're going to have to have some kind of surgery even if it's only having a pacemaker put in, it's a really good reminder of the importance of screwing around. You only get one shot at screwing around and you got to take every, every advantage of doing that whenever you can. You know, none of us are going to get out of here alive. So the last thing you want to take to the grave with you is regrets that you had a chance to do something and you just never quite got around to it. So you know what? Today is a really good day to go do that particular piece of screwing around that you want to do.